Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is Willy Weasel here, and today, as you can tell, we are doing a little video that is just a little bit different than normal. We are going to be doing marketplace, like reviews, slash roasting, I guess is what you can call it, whatever the title says. But today, we're going to be doing just, I guess, a little bit of reviewing of stuff on the marketplace, because in my opinion, my local listings, like the listings in my area, are just absolutely miserable. I'm going to keep it, like, under the, like, 100 mile limit. I'm going to go, you know, for probably from, like, 30 to 50 miles on my little, uh, finder up here, and I'm going to show you, like, how crazy the prices of things are you know they get cheaper the further you go out the closer in they are for some reason it's just miserable i have no idea why but we're going to get right into that all right so we're going to start out with a 20 mile range we're going to go over here and we're going to go to the vehicles and then we're going to sort it with uh motorcycles because that's really the only thing i look at obviously i look at some like four wheelers here and there but the dirt box around here insanely priced also if you see your bike while you're looking at this video i apologize i'm not trying to hurt your feelings i'm just letting you know my honest opinion this is nothing against you or nothing against anybody this is not any like hate or anything I gotta say that so youtube doesn't like smite me but yeah let's get into the video all right guys if the video looks like a little different like when i click on the box it's because i'm like trying to blur out or like crop the name out of the video like uh, i don't want to like hurt anybody's feelings but yeah like let's look at this but let's look at this this is a title 2012 yz 450f needs a time and chain and shim kit it's a ky it has a ky based suspension and full yoshi exhaust and aftermarket rims and handlebars and brand new bottom end and top end 3000 OBO or trades. Let me know what you got. Needs shimmed and it needs a time and chain. But it's titled, oh lord, apparently that increases the price by so much. But this is not a $3,000 bike. By no means is this a $3,000 bike. Maybe like a $2,200 bike. I would give like, I might, I would give like two for this. And to me, I feel like I would be getting my butt burned. I feel like I'd get screwed over. And I mean, it's not just because it looks rough or anything like that, but it's because it needs a timing chain and a shim kit. It looks okay. You could fix the plastics. You can fix the graphics. You can also fix the time and chain shim kit. But look, if you're being picky, you would need to replace the rear tire here. You need to replace the plastics. You need to replace the seat cover. The grips look worn out. The levers are uh, probably bent. I don't know. They look a little weird. You know, the perches might be a little worn. You'd have to go through and replace the time and chain and then the shim kit. And that's after you give $3,000 for a bike. Well, he does say OBO open a trade. So you probably could offer. But I doubt the guy is anywhere close to like the price I'm thinking. I feel like the KLR is posted for a pretty good price look there 2300 or trade price drop clean title located viper kentucky blah 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 come buy this if you want to i mean check it out snazzy looking little KLR. look at that man okay guys here's another good example i don't know if you guys think that a 150r should go for 3200 dollars i mean maybe like 28 uh, 25 to 28 but an 07 crf 150r with a it does have a florida title but you'd have to have it inspected because you're here in kentucky he says this buy not only looks nice but feels nice with a top speed of 70 mile an hour that's bs mine that i that old 607 whatever i had 09 i don't even know what it was it was bored to a 160 with head work with a jetted exhaust for that had a bunch of other stuff done to it except for you know little odds and ends here and there but it I don't even think it would hit 70. Anyway, he says this bike has incredible torque. As you can see from the pictures, it has multiple upgrades and is not stock. Not stock in caps here. Okay, let's go look at this. Not stock. This is what I would call a... I, I call it, like, when I do this to a bike, I call it, like, a mini build. You know, I'm just exaggerating it. A mini build, you know, air quotes. And I would, like, flip it and make money. I would buy a bike that looks like crap, and then I would do this to it, and then I would make more money. I would go buy some cheap plastics, a little cheap $30 Rocky Mountain seat cover, find a bike that has in a chair breeze, or however you say it, uh, I guess a chair breeze, extended gas tank, you know, a parts bike, hopefully someone's got one cheap, you know, find one someone, somebody parting it out, find one used on eBay, buy it cheap, set a grip, set of eBay levers, and cause this not stock, this is just a clean 150, that's all this is, it's a pretty clean 150, titled clean 150, 3200, 2800 in my opinion, this, 32, I don't know man. Here's another bike that I think people commonly overprice. I mean, look, it's a CRF 450R, 14 model, as he says right here. Look, it has a slick bald rear tire. Looks pretty okay. It has some, I hate them nasty plastic pro taper grips, personally. I've had, like, I get them pair on, like, a lot of bikes. Those are disgusting. Those are awful. But it looks pretty okay. It's got some Renthal bars. Well, Renthal bar pad, pro taper contour bars. I can see that now. $4,000? I don't know. I don't know about that. He does say he said bike runs great no knocks or ticks a slap up with power but it does need back brakes and also a front and back tire other than that it's a good bike i would like to trade to something nice little truck or car something cheap on gas four 
thousand dollars though is that what he's really asking for or is he just wanting to trade because that's not that's not a nice little price tag you know if you want to get somebody interested in something like this post it for a good price that way people will see it and be like oh my god that's you know a good price click on it read oh you're looking to trade to blah 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 hmm you know at least you get more clicks but posting for four thousand people's gonna see that Psh, bro i don't want that click away click away click away they're just gonna scroll past it it's just another buy call marketplace oh my freaking god i can't tell if this guy's serious but he's just got a bone stock 07 crf 250r looks pretty okay uh has aftermarket suspension but he's asking four thousand dollars runs and rides really good really great and really good shape we'll trade for a honda crf 450. he's going to trade an 07 250r to a 450 or four thousand cash these people are smoking meth i see this dude on tiktok i'm not trying to diss his bike you know, He's, he's a local rider you know he's a local social media dude whatever but 4500 for an 07 serif 450r title in hand 4500 let's look at the video pretty clean 07 450r for the price of what you can get like a 16 17 kx 454 is insane you can get a bike that is 10 years newer than this one for the same price with a title probably also in the same shape but i did i don't know people you just i don't understand these people for less than five grand, for forty three hundred bucks, you can buy this twenty twenty YZ two fifty F. It's a little dirty, and this picture looks a little rough. I'm gonna lie, it needs a little cleaned up. Looks like it was stored, you know, dirty. But it's a twenty twenty model compared to that thirteen model, and he's asking more than this. It's insane. Both of them are insane, in my opinion. I wouldn't give over thirty five. Jesus Christ, another example, oh my gosh, another example of somebody asking so much for their bike that it's just 2004 CRF 450R, $4,000, he posted a screenshot from what looks like his Dollar General Samsung, maybe it's an LG, he says freshly rebuilt bike, very low hours, he says freshly rebuilt bike, very low hours on bike, looking for cash offers, right, or trades, plus cash trade for a nice mustang with low miles looking for cash offers for a bike he's asking four thousand dollars for 07 model he's only got one picture of it's a screenshot you don't know when it was from like he just at 8:05 p.m he just up and randomly decided hmm, i'm gonna sell this bike what do you think was going through his head when he decided just to post a screenshot of a picture do you think he's just in need of money really bad or just smoking something because he's asking four thousand dollars for a 04 model all right guys here's another screenshot poster i don't know what it is with these honda owners and posting screenshots of their bike while they're on facetime but uh it's just kind of crazy i wonder what goes through mind when they're posting these things he's asking three thousand dollars for an 06 crf 250r with no description whatsoever he just posted a bunch of pictures of it i don't understand that do you guys that's just insane what the frig these people are smoking for real well, guys and guys, I guess I'm going to have to call this an end to the video. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to drop a like on the video. I just decided I'm going to post, uh, you know, this content just because, you know, I didn't even think it was going to do good. You know, I, if it does good, cool. If it don't, cool. But I also decided I'm going to have a little shameless little plug right here. I had this wrote, and I guess I want to read it to you guys, but I say, Dear Dirt Bike Enthusiasts, right? That's you guys. Ready to turn your dirt bike passion into code hard cash? Our ebook, How to Make Money While Riding, is your ticket to financial freedom and endless trails. Three reasons you can't miss this, okay? This is 10 years of expertise for just $10. Buckle up for a decade of insider knowledge at a steal. Our ebook, Born from 10 Years of Trial, Error, and Triumph, is your shortcut to earning while riding. It's $10. That's less than your last gas station run. You know, I go to the gas station. I put five in gas, get a Red Bull, you know, beef jerky and a pack of chips. That's over $10. You know, this book is, it's less than that, right? And I also got that little secret you can see down there at number three. It can save you even more. But number two is, this is the only guide you'll ever need. This is no fluff, no filler. This is the guide covering everything from social media hacks to marketing attempts that you can use forever. Say goodbye to endless searches and hello to success. Number three is, act now. 50% off, right? Limited time only. Jump on this exclusive offer. 50% off for a short time invest five dollars right so you know how i said it was ten dollars here earlier now it's five dollars right i did this just to i guess pull you in a little bit you know i told my secret
secret. You know, you'll learn secrets like that in the book, right? Now listen to this. Number three is act now, right? You get 50% off, but this is for a limited time only. Jump on this exclusive offer for 50% off, right? For just a short time, and I'm not even joking. You invest just $5, not into anything, you know, just into the book, which is investing in yourself. Think about that. And you secure your financial future for doing what you love, right? You just got to think about that. You really do. You invest in yourself. All you got to do is give it your all, read the book a little, and take your time, read what I put in there, and, you know, really think about the things that I say. I can't really give much away because I'll be, you know, selling my stuff for free right here. I can't be doing that. You just got to go look in the book. But look here, the first 100 buyers, right? The first 100 buyers will get 10% off of any item on the shop, which also leads me to say, if you guys enjoyed the video, you know, like I said, smash that like button and also press that subscribe button so you don't miss content like this or like my dirt bike videos if you haven't watched those. But this has been the Willy Weasel. Peace out.